Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at a Project Warlock Arctic Attack. This is an amazing Doom-like game. Doom, Hexen, uh, those sort of uh, first-person shooters out of the 90s. This is the demo. The full version is it's a little bit older of a game released in 2018 but it still is amazing and i thought we should uh do a little video on it um the full version is released it is 12 dollars, i believe and uh yes definitely the link will be in the description and i really recommend you guys looking and taking a look at this we're going to take a quick look through it it is a fairly short demo but already in this i am really amazed and if you are a fan of those early first person shooters i highly recommend it so we're starting off right now with just a knife and then we get to pick up a warlock staff so we have uh is the basic same controls as you would think from those games you got WASD to move um your mouse will look around and then a uh, left click will shoot the weapon there is also this little hut up there it does disappear pretty quickly but i like here that you have the knife and if you hit one again it gives you this really nice wide swinging axe uh so you can see the arc on that is pretty impressive as opposed to the um the knife which is just a little boom 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 uh so that's if you run out of ammo that might be a good thing to switch to so we got our little warlock staff there we go we picked up some pistol ammo and now we have some pistol ammo so let's explore this and see what we got i like the creatures oh whoa, whoa, whoa. there is a lot of little creatures here uh those little snowball things are pretty neat there we go nice sound effects definitely uh very doom like already let's see if i can shoot there i see you i see you uh let's see what do we got is that a like a treasure chest oh okay an explosive chest that's that's something we got to be a little bit more careful about um did we pick up i know we didn't it didn't look like we picked up anyway i wasn't sure i must have been picking up some am ammo or something because i saw the screen flash there uh so we can pick up ammo some magic we got some guys back there to oh let's get these guys i definitely like the graphics here as you can see in the, like the original doom uh you have these two uh d sprites in a 3d world and for something i don't know why maybe it's just like uh nostalgia but i very much like those uh really calls back to these early games and having these two bit uh sprites here is really cool there's also a long delay on the swing of that um so it's a nice arc but you definitely shows the like strength you're swinging this big old axe around and it is taking some time so i like that effect as well Ooh, shotgun sweet i love the shotgun in these games my sh my favorite has always been the shotgun uh we're gonna see if we can blow that up and there's another one right there sweet oh gosh he made it around what is that is that that's a oh that was cool i didn't even see that little slime before if you can hear there is the sound of the shotgun um shell clinking on the ground when i shoot which i think is absolutely hilarious that is a very very cool uh effect let's go around here and see if we can pick up any more ammo i really am going to need as much as possible uh i just know these games something nasty is going to pop out of that door um i don't know if these ice things have stuff hitting hidden in them or not so i'm kind of checking them and see if they're just a breakable uh effect or if there is like hidden uh treasure inside so let's go back to the shotgun shotgun has always been my favorite in these games just because of the um 
you you could usually hit more than one person and the damage that they do that is pretty impressive explosions uh there so that's kind of cool um so yeah so you uh you can hit more than one pe person with the shotgun and uh you you know when you they get close to you it does a lot of damage is that another shotgun there oh gosh oh those guys are fast those guys are amazing <laughs> oh no, gosh i got myself in a corner there we go wow what is that that is some treasure okay i was hoping that was like health so, what else do we have oh oh that guy's looks boom oh this is double barrel shotgun sweet wow <laughs> did you see that guy fly back so just like oh wait we didn't want to do that so just like you have the gun here with uh one and two to switch so now you have three the single barrel and the double barrel shotgun i like that um i'm not sure in all the doom or duke nukem or hexing games if they are similar but i always kind of was upset that you would pick up the double barrel shotgun and you lost the ability to do the shotgun because there is an advantage of using the shotgun over the double barrel and you you know you don't use your bullet bullets as quickly and some of these little guys like here don't need a lot of power so then you know you really don't need to have those double barrels and then you're just wasting that ammo so i kind of like that you could switch between them I'm smg okay small machine gun stand i don't know what smg stands for um there's another explosive crate so we're gonna have to watch that uh we're gonna pull these guys out and hopefully oh ice dudes okay let's see if i get what what is, what is shooting at me oh gosh <laughs> i don't think i can hit that explosion from here oh gosh that was a direct hit i've never been really good at these it's kind of like the racing games it's a lot of i've always thought they were a lot of fun but um never been really really good at oh oh there's another one of those guys uh really really good at these kind of uh first person shooters here i am wasting all my ammo here that little smg was pretty nice though it uh definitely did a nice little bit of uh stun lock there which is kind of cool what do we got that is a oh a treasure i found a key i would have to say that the gun the hand the gun area again this is the de demo but i would like to see that that gun is a little bit brighter it's really dark i would like to see that may be changed in the oh in the full version but um uh definitely something that would be much appreciative and i'm getting wasted oh no maybe i didn't do as bad as i thought oh fire fire ouch ow, ow, ow. burn burn which i'm not doing too bad i guess i'm staying here at, at 80 which i guess is is pretty decent oh there's another i probably should not use my shotgun for everything because i'm gonna end up really quickly running out of ammo if i'm not careful oh these guys are these guys are strong and fast so they run up on you really quickly you got to be careful with those guys so this is definitely a game that i would recommend i'm very impressed with this game um i like it quite a bit this guy's taking a lot of damage here come on man die oh i blew off one of his arms that's kind of cool i like that there's that oh that was close um it looks like you got to get pretty close with this pistol as well it's kind of like oh now there goes his other arm i don't really have so much room to back up but that was kind of cool how i was able to kind of like tear off pieces of him how much ammo do i got i got three i got a little bit of shotgun shells i need some more ammo definitely need more ammo and is that pistol okay so we're gonna switch to pistol we're gonna try to make it through here without 
running out of that's another thing that i routinely do when i uh play this game is i think these are energies so we're going to use see what this um uh, uh, staff is all about here if that's going to even ouch oh yeah not not bad i'd say it's not really that great it's a fast thing it does pretty good damage if i would like stop or if i would uh be able to dodge around those corners it would be much more useful i would say this i think the weapons are ordered in like power so the um i got myself cornered here but so the so the uh a magic staff is going to do about the same damage as the uh pistol is what i'm thinking that's just a kind of a guess here what do we got we got some shotgun shells not a lot no smg ammo a little bit of pistol ammo a little bit of magic ammo and then my weapons uh, this is not gonna go well uh we definitely need some more ammo here that's oh oh smg shotgun it looks like there's still a lot of shotgun ammo out here which is good Ooh, some health boom i need that oh no not that that's not what i wanted to do i wanted the other shotgun this shotgun uh i don't want to pick up things unless i absolutely need them that thing runs super fast so i have 99 health i don't want to pick up that health ant unless i need to pick it up because i think that's where i came out of because i don't want to waste it i like some of these things i don't know if it is in this game but like if you have one health down and you pick up the health that could do like 60 you kind of waste that health um and i really wanted to avoid that there so it looks like we got pretty good filled up on ammo let's there's a red door right here so i'm gonna assume that's what my red key is for oh Ooh, machine gun Ooh, let's see what the machine gun does oh that's interesting it like uh there's a delay on the machine gun as you see it starts to roll and then it starts to shoot which is interesting i kind of like that though because i feel that that's probably how machine guns would really work what's that do found some treasure okay the skull was treasure i thought it may have been like a a power up of some sort We're getting in here kind of nasty i think i'm doing pretty decent for uh not being very good at this i do see that button there but i'm a little worried i want to make sure everything's cleared out before i hit the button i don't want to i don't want to open something that's going to bring out more enemies before i have a time to clear out anything. oh gosh oh i totally missed that guy I just shot the wall. That's not very helpful. The wall there there does show um, Like damage to the walls, which is pretty nice You can see where I shoot the wall there it looks actually it shows the two different uh, Blasts it's kind of neat This guy's throw out some nasty stuff we I'm very impressed with the thing. I love getting shooting that thing with the shotgun because uh, it flies back so far. I also like this, how you like cripple some of these people with the shot. So they crack, you can see the crack in them. And then you, oh gosh, I have no more ammo. And then the brakes off and then you have a, uh, you know, you shatter it. That's pretty nice. I like that effect. I'm waiting for that sasquatch looking guy to come around the corner these are yeah that shoots way i mean the damage on that is not too 
good and also uh eh, um it doesn't stop their shooting which is in a you know and in, in, it very helpful to to stop the shooting to get something that's gonna can i get my four let's get this minigun going let's see if we can roast these guys with the minigun there we go oh we're out of weapons oh that's not good <laughs> oh come on die please die <laughs> die oh wow we were low on ammo here is there any more there's yeah there's a lot of ammo here that's another thing i really like about this game so far they seem to give you a lot of ammo and i know in some of them uh they're very kind of very stingy some of the early um uh, some of the early uh first person shooters were a little stingy about the ammo just gonna try to grab some of this ammo really quickly and then we're gonna head back out see if there is anything else here to kill no whoa oh gosh okay the door is shooting at us i i don't think that's fair to be honest with you the door shouldn't shoot at us there we go there we go we got the door taken care of grab that little piece of treasure right there. that was thought that was treasure okay well let's head on out and see is that make you oh that's the demo thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it this is definitely a very well done doom like early first person shooter style game i would highly recommend it again there's going to be a link down in the description to below it is project warlock thank you all so much for watching I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.